It was not by chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the Deadly Alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between the Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat, Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. Raiden fought well against the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. The Deadly Alliance had won. The sorcerer's victory was short-lived, however. Once they realized that an alliance was no longer necessary, suspicion and lust for power overcame them. The former allies then turned their aggression on each other. Quan Chi defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had finally returned. Onaga, former Emperor of Outworld. The Dragon King. No! It cannot be! The prophecy had been fulfilled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. And so it was that a new alliance was formed out of desperation. Mortal enemies joined forces to combat a greater threat. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to beat the dragon. What are you doing? You don't want to know. There was only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception. 